Hi, my name is C.B. smith Thal. I'm the Community Media Manager for OaklandLocal.com. We always want to encourage our readers to post to the website, and so this is a quick tutorial on how to do that. First off, you'll notice I have the Oakland Local website up. Today happens to be May 1st, so there's a lot of wonderful news happening, breaking today, and, and our reporters are posting on the site. In order to post, you have to create a profile. I'm not going to go over that today, but once you've created your profile, you'll log in here in the upper right corner. You'll type in your name, type in your password, and go ahead and click log in. Once you log in, you'll see your name in the upper right hand corner, and you'll also see this little wrench in the upper left corner, and that lets you know that you're able to uh, access some of the back end controls for the Oakland Local website. I, as, uh, as community media manager, will have more choices in this area than the average user will, but depending on uh, what level you're working with us, whether you're working with us as a community blogger or as a reporter or as an editor, you'll see different choices in this list. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm just going to post a blog entry. That's a type of post that pretty much everyone can uh, put online. We recommend that in order to, to effectively post on the Oakland Local website that you actually go ahead and write your article in a text editor. A text editor is a simple program that doesn't put a bunch of bells and whistles into your writing. So Microsoft Word has a lot of coding in it. Instead, something like this program available on Macs, which is called Text Edit. So you can see here, I've taken some sample text, some text from another blog entry that I did, and, and typed it here into Text Edit. Um, and it really doesn't have much formatting to it. That's wonderful because when I paste it into the website, I'm not going to get a lot, a lot of buggy um, uh, details that will mess with how everything gets displayed on the website. So I select all this task, text and I go ahead and copy it. Um, and I click on my body here and I paste my text. There's my article. It's here. It's ready to go. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and call this article Sample Article. Um, normally, you would go ahead and give it a title that would tell people what you're writing about so that it can stand out for them. It's also really important that you add a topic. Your article won't post without one. So if you roll your mouse over the story categories, you can see the six topics that we ask people to choose. Sometimes people get a little confused. You'll see if you start typing, um, so if I start typing art, you'll see a bunch of different versions of story categories show up. So again, peek back up here, use this as your cheat sheet, these story categories. You want to post an article in arts and education, then make sure it's arts and education, not any of the other choices. And that way your article will, will um, display properly on the website. Once I've done that, I want to go ahead and click Save. A word to the wise here, don't click Preview first, um, because Preview will actually not save your article. So go ahead and click Save. Once you click Save, a couple things start happening. Um, first of all, it's going to automatically give you a preview of the article, and you can see it's kind of pink. It won't be pink when it publishes, when it goes live. Um, but it also added some breaks in here that were not in the original article. So it's important to go back and edit um, and just double check your work. I'm assuming you've already done a spell check inside your text editor. Um, if not, this is a good place to do that. So we just kind of go in here and clean stuff up a little bit. right? Look for anything that looks out of the ordinary. Get rid of any extra spaces. And then we can hit Save again. I encourage you to save frequently. <clears throat> It's a good way to make sure that you don't lose a bunch of work. Now, this article looks kind of plain. I want to add a picture. So I go back to edit. 
And in order to add a picture, uh, I go down here to where it says image, choose file, and then I choose a file from my computer. In this case, I've got a folder set up called Oakland Local How To, and I've put a sample image in that folder. So I can open that image, and it's here, sample image. I click upload, and that will bring the picture into the article. You should also put a title, a description, a credit, especially if you're using photos um, that you yourself didn't take. Um, make sure that you have permission and that you credit um, whoever took the picture. You can also put a description of the photo. That can be helpful for folks who are accessing a computer who have uh, limited vision um, because they do often roll their mouse over and they'll have a, a software on their computer that will actually read aloud to them that title. Um, and again, just to make sure it's there, we hit save and it'll show us that photo. It's embedded in the article. It's important to mention that the photo needs to be smaller than seven megabytes, um, but all that information is there on the page. Another thing that you can do to your article is you can add links, embedded links within the article, and also embed video or other multimedia. So for links, we'll notice here it says Oakland Unified School District. Well, maybe I want to actually put a link to the Oakland Unified School District page. I've gone ahead and pulled that up already. The link to the Oakland Unified page is here. I hit copy, and I go ahead and click on, once I have the, the text that I want to link to selected, <coughs> I click on this little link button. Looks like a, a chain link. And I go ahead and paste that website address. I can also, like I said, add a video clip. Now to add a video clip, it's a little more complicated. I go ahead and click on input format and say full HTML. Don't get worried, there's a lot, there's you know a lot of HTML code in here, but it's pretty easy to sort through. You can see it says BR, which means line break. Um, you know, and your text is still there. It's just added some extra code. So <clears throat> In order to put my video in, I click the embed button and I select this button here, use old embed code. And then I also want to make sure that I've got this 560 box checked. Anything larger than that will give some problems on the website. And then I select all of this. It's got some HTML in there. It's also got some information that's important for JavaScript. I'm going to copy it go back to my article and I'm actually going to paste it in here. Go ahead and select save and you'll see two things have happened. One, my link shows up. Um, here's the link that we created. Two, I get a big huge space where the YouTube video should be. This is actually normal. Our editors will have to check and make sure um, that, that when the article goes live, the video clip is there. Um, but don't be surprised that it gives you a little extra space um, for that video to play. It will also sometimes show you a little F, which stands for flash, in that space. You can use this technique of embedding code with a bunch of different websites. YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr slideshows, um, there's a lot of tools out there that will allow you, that will give you embed code that will allow you to paste right inside your article. So you can have some multimedia there. Hopefully this gives you a basic 101 on how to post your articles to oaklandlocal.com. Do realize our, all articles must be reviewed by our editors before they go live. And sometimes that takes anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. If you have questions, feel free to contact us. You can email community editor at oaklandlocal.com. Thank you for reading and thank you for watching.